This is Bam Bam with Selfie News here with my buddy Aaron Clayco, and we're here with Grindcore Legends Pig Destroyer. So, uh, how's it going, guys? How are you? Good. good. A little it's toasty, good. but uh, you know, it's a little warmer than where we're from. Used to, but it's yeah. good. It's nice. So, uh, for everybody out there that doesn't know you, what are your names? Where are you from? I'm Blake, and I'm from Baltimore. Jr. Do vocals. Sweet. All right. I'm from Virginia. From Virginia. From Virginia. From Virginia. Hey, he's got a Virginia right boy. So you guys started doing this in 97 with Pig Destroyer. Yes. Uh, right after uh, the anal cunt. <laughs> well, Scott, I think he, he was only in anal cunt for a very short time, one like I think less than a year. One record and one contract. Really okay. um, but, uh, you know, he was doing agoraphobic. Uh, I was in enemy soil at the time, and like that's when we, we, we did an enemy soil agoraphobic split, seven inch on bovine, and uh, that's how we originally met. Very cool. Then he moved down to Virginia uh, for his job, and we kind of got together, you know, grind four lines, thinking alike. You know? <laughs> Especially then, there wasn't a lot. Oh, no. Of people. <laughs> that was definitely not what it is now. Not that it's huge. Well, even in the underground, you could be like, yeah, I'm in a grindcore band. They'd be like, what's, what's grindcore? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, where I'm from, grindcore is about all we have, so you might even come out to Dallas, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like we're fair and all those guys from Dallas, right? Yeah, man. We got, we got work. Work. Shit, yeah. And then uh, have a lot of death metal. PLF. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, where are you coming from uh, into Austin? Like, what was your last show coming in? We flew in from home. Yeah, we, just, from we just came in for the show. I mean, uh, just I said, hey, Phil's throwing things. Yeah, well, yeah, and to us, it's not even really a, sh a show because normally we're like in and out in a day, but uh, we actually decided because of all the cool shit going on. Uh, we're gonna hang out for the weekend, see Hate Eternal, see I God. Oh man, there's like there's like, there's, like uh, you know, like you said, typically we'll fly and then we flew to. Uh, Europe, we landed on a Friday, played Friday night, played Saturday, and I was back at work on Monday. So how'd, just, how'd you guys find out about House Core of Horror? Well, Scott, Scott masters a lot of stuff for, for Phil, and uh, so they, they've had a report for a couple years now, and I think Phil just kind of was like, you know, are you guys going to do it? And we're like, really? fuck yeah. Well, yeah. 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 So, <laughs> Why wouldn't we? It's a great weekend. I'm, I'm glad they're doing this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely cool. It's something beautiful. And oh, it's yeah. something different. Like, it's not... You get horror film festivals or horror festivals where it's like that, or you get death metal festivals, and it's kind of like a mix of both. Mix of both. It's kind of cool, and it's logical. Like the, the overlap is the overlap. It's, it's, it's a no brainer. Yeah, synergy is it work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and not just death metal. There's all kinds of metal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What else are you guys checking out while you're here? Uh, uh, I want to see the Iron Raiden guys. Like yeah, they've been tearing up the last couple of times. Eternal. Uh, I mean, if I get a chance, we're gonna see some war. That was was that our last show? Uh, the barbecue? barbecue? No, we played something. We played something after the barbecue. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, see, it's so long. Oh no, we, actually, did, we did uh, we did Raleigh. Yeah, probably. It was, so, uh, it's been so, so long since we played that. Yeah. <laughs> and back to your other question, yeah, <laughs> or your question. So, uh, yeah, you know, so we're, yeah, we're gonna check out. There's a, I have a list of movies. Yeah, I want to check out, but some of them are 9 a.m. and I know I'm not gonna be out of bed. Yeah, right. realistically, you, when you write your itinerary in the morning, you're just like, oh, I would like to. I, I, I kind of hope to make some of them, but I don't want to be heartbroken. So, yeah. It's more of a wish list. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a guideline. Um, one thing I would like to talk about is you guys recently did the Adult Swim singles uh -huh. with the Octagonal Staircase. What was that whole deal like? Where's it was like. Um, Basically, uh, there's a guy named Adam Shore who used to work for Scion, and uh, he, we played at some of the Scion festivals. Like, uh, he's a fan of the band. He, you know, uh, books shows for Little Truth and stuff. Right. So. And uh, I think he's working for Cartoon Network now, and so they do this single series where uh, I think we were the only metal band on the list. It's I mean, mostly like DJs and like uh, yeah. uh, a couple indie rock bands. We're definitely like the only extreme band. Yeah, so it's totally. Kind of um, but they, they wanted us to do uh, an original song, and uh, we kind of, you know, looked at it as a challenge. We we actually had uh, some time to, to work it out, which was kind of rare, you know, because uh, we have kind of a long turnaround time because we don't get together as often as a lot of bands do. Right. So that it it, uh, it worked out, and uh, we're really happy with how the song turned out. The best part of that was their request was it needs to be over three and a half minutes and it has to be PG-13 yeah. weird. Yeah, they didn't want us to show up PG-13. 20, yeah. 20 seconds off. And so, like, I mean, everything fit together, but, like, I was like, man, let's just crank out a fucking grinder and, like, 
air screens fucking micron more times than anything. But yeah, well, let's do it. Big destroyer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a free download on their site. Um, I think for the rest, the whole rest of the year. All right, you heard that octagonal staircase, big destroyer. It's free to download on the Adult Swim site. Check that out. Um, what do you, what, what's the best thing you've seen so far this weekend, would you say? Oh, man, I haven't oh, really yeah. seen much. The guys yeah. from I Hate God, the, the guys from Go Hard. And, yeah, I mean, it's yeah, just, just, just kept good to see, around today, but. see old heads, man. You know, just like <laughs> dudes walking uh, around, you haven't seen them in years, you know. That's from Sultan. Um, we did a thing for the Decibel 100th issue. DVD. Yeah. So it's good to see those guys. Yeah. Which is, that should be out by the time. So, I don't know. Well, I'm ashamed to see it. Say I haven't even seen one band yet. Since I'm in. Yeah, I haven't. We, we got to get on the I tried to go see First Jason. Yeah, I wanted to see the uh, first Jason. That was the, like, and it was like, oh, they're, well, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, oh, that was an hour ago. Man. It was one of those things that I would have liked to have made. Yeah, yeah, I was like, what the fuck was I doing? Like, just <laughs> sitting around smoking cigarettes talking shit? Like, you got all day to do that, right? Well, um, so... Where are you going to from here? Are you going to go back home? Do you have more shows booked? No, we're going to go back home, go back to work, and I think I we, uh, we, so we, we got a Richmond show in uh, yeah. December. Richmond show in December. We're doing a New York show, New York show in January. In January. That's all we're really out of books right now. I got anything um, else in the projects? Oh, uh, well, like, we just got a base player, so okay. I think Scott's intent is that he'd like for us to start writing. Right. And we're always down, but he's trying to finish up some of the stuff. Right. right. So that really kind of depends on when he finishes that stuff. It's only four EPs. It's only four, four, four ranks. Wow. So <laughs> it kind of depends on when he finishes that stuff up. And then if it's, the time's not ready, the time's not ready. It's just right. we kind of, that's how we, that's why there's such a long gap between the we, we seem rest. to be right. way more patient than our fans are. So yes. Yeah, that like, happens. Like, like for right. me, like I, if it takes us six years to do another record, then that's what it takes. I mean, I don't, I don't, we don't want to do that, but like it's, it's going to take as long as it takes to make it right and make it good. But yeah, the intent is we want to start right. I mean, we've got a little momentum with the bass player and uh, back time on the stairway, staircase, whatever that's on. <laughs> um, you know, we, and we're getting a lot of buzz. Like, we've got a lot of new Facebook fans from that. Yeah. Uh, probably from people that have never heard us before. So that's so, why I was really happy with the free download. Yes. Because you can just kind of get it out there. Yeah, you know, you can yeah. expose yourself to people who wouldn't even give a shit. So, I mean, the yeah. intent is... Yeah, we're gonna start writing, but we tried never to put anything in stone because, right. you know, two years someone will do an interview, like, well, two years ago you said you were fucking writing new material. What was going on with that? It's pointless to schedule it because when you're when you're writing music, it's like an inspiration thing. So right. It, you can't just sit and be like, well, we're gonna start writing in February because February might come around and be like, eh, not really feeling it right now. Yeah, and exactly. like three weeks later, like you know, Scott's got ten songs yeah. ready. So you know. Just all comes out at once. Yeah, yeah, that's why I always try to always be writing lyrics and be ready for him because when when Scott starts writing, like it's, it, 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 it starts it, coming real fast. It is. It's like a Nova. It's just, you got to yeah. be on the ball. It's exactly. Just like build like, and build and build. That's cool, uh, and that explains why your shit is so good. Like at the risk of sounding like a geek, I'm actually a little bit of a big story fan. Yes, you that's just can't force it. I hope you would hear this because you're a fan. I'm just like, <laughs> no, I'm not just some fan. Hey, your band sucks. I'm going to be like, hey, you doing? No, I've been listening to you guys for a while. Like, you were, in my opinion, one of the better grindcore bands, but I'm going to stop stroking your dick now. <laughs> so, um, do you have a website or something that we can tell the folks at home where to, to get in the Pig Destroyer? Uh, the, the best thing is, the is probably the Facebook, Facebook. but also... Uh, I think it's backslash the real Pig if, Destroyer, because there was a different one. If people want to go to... not sure. If people go to Bandcamp, I think Relapse has all of our uh, records okay. there. You can stream everything we've ever done. So, so anywhere... That's band, probably the best way to do it. All right, so Bandcamp, uh, he's got Pig Destroyer, and then Facebook, the real Pig Destroyer. I think so. Except no imitation. <laughs> and um, you know, I think we have a LinkedIn account. Um, the the, 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 the MySpace page still out there somewhere? The MySpace here, but I still is. I lost the walk in like seven years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's true. There. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's crazy. Yeah, I was on there the other day and I saw Tumbleweed. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? The mummy popped up and caught that dust. It's like, you're on this shit? <laughs> well, I appreciate you guys taking time out and talking to us, man. Uh, I look forward to watching the rest of what you guys do and just keep on pick destroying. Right. Cheers, <laughs>